So if I want this armband on the other side of the character, I could go like this. I could select three rows. Notice I click on one, shift, double click on its neighbor. And then, instead of extruding, I'm going to go like this. Mesh, duplicate. Uh, let me see here. OK, it's on, I'm sorry, it's under Edit Mesh. And then there's Duplicate down here. And when I do that, it duplicated the faces. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go to Face Mode. And well, actually, I'm going to click off of it because I want to make sure that I have my duplicated thing. And you can't tell where it is. So if I right click, go to Object Mode, great. There it is. Okay. Now, if I go to face mode and drag over it, now I have just those faces selected. Now I should be able to extrude out. So I'll go to Edit Mesh Extrude, and now I can simply extrude outward. Great. Now, if I check this, if I go to Modify, Center Pivot, now if I move this off to the side, I can see that, yes, this armband lives in its entirety, and I did not disrupt the underlying mesh. Okay, So go ahead and try that. I select the faces, edit mesh duplicate, and then extrude it. So if I want to create something like the vest on the character, I would have to make my own edge flow. In other words, I want to essentially kind of make this vest from scratch, but I want it at the same time to conform to his body perfectly. Okay, The way that I'm going to do that is this. I'm going to go over here to Quad Draw, which is the first icon of these five. And here's Quad Draw. And go ahead and just watch how I do this. Well, before I even hit Quad Draw, I'm going to go ahead and select this guy in Object Mode. And to make sure that I'm conforming to the body, I'm going to click on this magnifying glass, or uh, this magnet. And if I click on the magnet, now this body is considered live. Okay, It's considered a magnet. So if I go to Quad Draw, now watch what happens. If I click on here, if I click, you can see that I'm clicking on the body. right? No matter where I click, it's going to be on the body. Okay. That's because it's live. But if I did this, if I clicked four dots and then held down spacebar, I'm sorry, if I held down shift and clicked in between it, it creates a polygon. I can even then grab a vertex and I can move it, and it's going to stay on the character. See that? I, I can't even pull it off if I wanted to. Uh, um, no, I don't believe I can. I can't snap to vertex, but I don't care because I don't want to, right? So it just knows that the underlying mesh is there, but I feel like the idea would be like this. I could go, and now I could make another one. And I could go like this. I'm just kind of visualizing where I want you know, the neck line. And you can see that here would be a polygon, here would be a polygon. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. So because I have this row kind of drawn, I can hold down Shift and I can just kind of go like that, and you can see how nice and fast that is, right? So now it could come all the way to the back, and I'm only going to go to the center line because I can mirror it, and I'll show you a cool trick in a second. There we go. And even after the fact, I can kind of like hold down Shift and I can kind of smooth that out. Okay. And I can go like this. I can continue this idea. And you can see that once you know what you're doing, it's kind of fast, right? And it's really a cool trick to get that going right where you need to. I can even move stuff around afterwards. There we go. There we go. Whoa. What? 
I could hold down shift, smooth this out, and keep working that. And, and I can go control shift to delete stuff. I'm also able to hold down control and put splits through. And once again, it's all conforming nicely to the body. Okay? But I can also do this. I'm just going to kind of undo everything. If I can. Okay, cool. So now, and I don't know if this guy is uh, on the center line, but I should be able to turn on symmetry, object X. Oh, shoot. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's on um, working here. Yeah, see, it's over here. And that's because here's my grid, okay? So if this guy was on the center of the grid, I could actually turn on symmetry and then just draw one side. And it would actually, you know, it would actually work that uh, I could do that. But I'll just draw both sides independently. I'm going to turn this off. Let me just try one more here. Okay, cool. So let, let's go ahead and, and try that together. So first off, select the guy's vest. To do that, right click, go to object mode, and select his vest, and then come over here, create a new or layer with selected object, and hide the visibility. Then go ahead and select the character. And with the character selected, go ahead up here, select the magnet icon. Then with the magnet icon selected, I'm going to go over here to my modeling toolkit. I'm going to go here to quad draw. And I'm still only going to draw half of it, even though mirroring isn't working. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to start on the center line. I'm going to go here to here. Now, I'm not, I'm not trying to draw it the same size as the polygons that are on them. I'm making big squares like this. Okay. So I'm going to do something like that. And I want to go like this. I draw a couple points, and then I hold down Shift. And my goal right now, I'm just going to go up here like this. I want to make like a neckline for this guy. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to go over his shoulder. I'm going to come all the way to the back. And I want it so they all kind of uh, flow together. If I need to move any, I can just grab them and simply slide them on the surface. There we go. Okay, cool. Anyone having any trouble with that? Okay. So here you can see I made another loop all the way around the arm. And the way that you know if you did the loops right is if you hold down control, uh, it'll send a, a potential loop through. I'm not going to let up on this. I don't want this loop. But I feel like I can see that the loop will go this way, and then there's a loop that goes this way. So to continue here, um, I'm going to go like this. I'm going to 
work on this transition point, I'm just going to put one dot here, and then I can kind of go like that. And now you can see that I kind of um, started to transition correctly. So I'm just going to kind of go like this. And I'm going to keep going. And here I'm not going to keep going. Otherwise, I'm going to kind of keep following that down. Instead, I'm going to go like this. Kind of, once again, break that away. And then I'm going to go like this. I'm going to kind of continue that. But I'm going to continue this underneath like that. Because I want, and then it's going to come here, because I want this to be a straight line eventually coming around. So just kind of watch this, and I'll show you the goal of what I want. Okay. Now you can see that I can kind of start transition this into horizontal. There we go. Takes a little bit of practice to be able to kind of see it like I'm seeing it. This is so nice. I feel like it's hard to kind of do stuff bad with it. I mean, so I feel like as long as you know what edge flow you want, then then you're fine, okay? But I want to show you what the goal of what I was doing here. Look at the bottom of this, okay? This bottom eventually kind of transitioned into a straight line. See this? How that, and if I put an edge loop, see how that goes straight across? I want that because eventually what I'm going to do is extend all that down. So I've got my neckline, I've got my armband here, and then I started transitioning across, and then this one is now straight across all the way, so that bottom line is consistent. Go ahead and try that. I know that's kind of tricky, but I feel like I kind of use mine as a reference up here. So now that I transition to a, a nice straight edge down here, what I can do is I can do tab and middle mouse and take a look at what happens. Tab and middle mouse, which is the wheel, I can keep going like this and it'll extend. So I don't have to keep drawing all those quads. Tab, middle mouse. Hallelujah. Tab middle mouse. Well, looks like something got a little screwed up here. That's all right. I could just delete it. Control shift to delete. And then if I want to smooth this out, I could just hit, simply hit shift and then just kind of paint over like this. And you can see it kind of relaxes all of them. I'm just doing shift, painting over. Shift, painting over. Okay, great. Shift, painting over, relax that. And now we've got a really good kind of edge flow, a great start, that we didn't let the edge flow of the character dictate where we create stuff. We just created it as we wanted and put it everything where we needed it to be. 
if you ever forget one of the commands, like to delete or to smooth or something like that, over in our modeling toolkit, remember this is where um, we found the quad draw. If you scroll down to the bottom, there's something called the keyboard mouse shortcuts. And if I click on the arrow next to that and scroll down, it has all the shortcuts for you right here. Could you show the get there again? Yeah, so right here, this is the modeling toolkit. This is the icon to get into it. And then here it is. Now what you can do is you just scroll down right to the modeling or to the keyboard mouse shortcuts. Okay, before I mirror it, before I physically mirror it, I'm just going to kind of come here and just kind of literally just kind of butt these up next to the center line as close as I can. Okay. There we go. I don't know, something like that. And now I'm going to do this. I'm going to right click, go to object mode. Then with it in object mode, I'm going to go like this, mesh mirror. Okay. And obviously it mirrored the wrong way. So what I could do is even in here, I can go axis and I'm going to try Y. No, I don't want that. X, no. Uh, let's see. No, I, I want it to be X, but I want it to be negative. There we go. And now I can see that offset's too far. I'm going to grab this. I'm going to just move this until it merges and then kind of eyeball it. Yes, that looks right, right there. Perfect. Is it connecting those? Yes, it is merging it. I can see here it says border merge border. So yes, it did merge. And once I have that mirrored and essentially welded together, now I can go to face mode, drag over the whole thing, and extrude. Grab the blue arrow and pull that out like that. Now I'm good. And the last thing I need to do is turn off live. So I'm going to uncheck the magnet. Now we have that vest, and if I look at it, I can see that the vest lives in its entirety, and so does the character.